Welcome to Limokit.com. In this uh, quick start video, we are going to show you how to make a booking, how to create a customer, and also how to invoice uh, the customer for that booking. This is the default view of your screen once you log in. We'll go to Bookings menu, click on Make Booking. This will open up a new tab uh, called New Booking. And this is the booking form. This booking form has three sections. Uh, customer Details section, Journey Details section, and Fair Guidelines section. So we'll start with Customer Details section. First, we need to select the type of customer. There are two types of customers, corporate or individual. We'll leave it at corporate. Then we need to select a customer. We don't have any customers at the moment registered in the system. So we'll create one by pressing the plus button. And we'll give a name to our customer. Let's say ABC Limited. And then we'll select the payment type. We can, it could be a collect, credit card charge, or an invoice. We'll select invoice. Uh, and we will leave the frequency at one month. Uh, there's an invoice surcharge, let's say, of 5%. So this is to cover for your invoice handling charges or also when you are giving credit to a customer, you would like to charge an extra percentage. That could be a standard norm in limo industry. We are not going to give any discounts to ABC Limited. And on all the fares for ABC Limited, we are going to include the taxes. Uh, so... If a fare is $100 and the tax is 5%, so that 5% will be added in the fare. And the final price that we'll be quoting to the customer is $100 rather than $100 plus 5%. Then we would add a contact type to ABC Limited. Uh, let's assume Mr. Ian Smith is the traveler. And we'll put a phone number to Mr. Ian Smith. And uh, we would add email address of Ian, Mr. Ian Smith. And we would give a password to Mr. Ian Smith so that Mr. Ian Smith can log into the booking management system and make bookings in future. Now we'll come to section two, that is the journal journey details part. We'll select the type of the journey. There could be three types of journeys. Uh, one way return or hourly so we'll leave at one way we'll select the date of journey we'll select the time of the journey and then under pickup location we'll click on POIs that is point of interest and we'll select Melbourne Airport so this should automatically populate the pickup location with the address of Melbourne Airport we'll put a flight number and then in the destination section we will put uh, say 500 Collins Street a popular place in Melbourne and from the auto suggested drop down uh, we will get the address automatically populated we will leave the car type number of passengers and suitcases area as default or let's make the suitcases to number one and then we'll go to fair guideline area there's a search button here under base fare. So we'll click this. This will suggest as a fare for the car type that is luxury sedan from pickup location to this destination. So uh, the system is right now suggesting me a fare of $75. I can accept it or reject it. Uh, let's make it $80. So you have the full flexibility to change this fare. And uh, then we'll save this booking. So we have created one new job here. These are the details of the job. Now we would like to invoice ABC Limited for this job. So we'll go to invoicing area and click on create new invoice. 
we need to select a customer type. So ABC is a corporate type of customer. So this should populate the list of all the corporate customers on the right hand side. We'll select ABC Limited. And this is the job that we have just entered in the system. We'll select this job. We'll select Mr. Ian Smith, who needs to be sent this invoice. And we'll click on Preview and Send. And this is how the invoice would look like. And we will click the button Send Invoice. So the invoice has been sent uh, to the customer. So what we have learned is how to create uh, a new booking by going to Make Booking tab. On the left hand side under customer details we can create a new customer then we put the journey details we can also assign drivers but that we will be discussing more in our future tutorials and then we can add the fare and save the booking and then we can go to invoicing create new invoice and invoice the customer uh, for the job thank you very much for watching this quick start guide uh, uh, we will keep posting new videos uh, to go through different features of the system uh, and we hope that you'll be watching them and uh, making the best out of uh, the